can understand why most endgame players choose to AFK in Yilgar's Inn, because it makes the most sense. And we haven't even begun to talk about the excessive premium currency or spinning the roulette wheel and maybe getting something good, because gambling and premium currency pushing in this game deserves its own video. <laughs> 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 oh, you're gonna say bush, huh? <laughs> hey, listen, don't, don't diss on yourself. You got no, 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 thousands of other people to hey, do that to you for you. There, there are people out there who make posts uh -huh. specifically to diss on me, and whenever I make a mistake, their posts get like huge numbers of likes and huge numbers of shares. And then when nothing's when, when the bad times are over and they kind of go back to normal, they only get like one or two likes. These people are counting on me to screw up so they can get likes. And I don't like letting people down. I gotta be there for them. I'm here to yes, help. Sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> get them they clout back. <laughs> you gotta make stakes for the haters. Haters <laughs> just make you famous. Uh, no thing is bad publicity. I don't know if I agree with that, but <laughs> I, I am honored that um, I am clearly uh, living rent-free in so many people's heads. <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen, I've always looked up to you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm going for one fucking mod for snipers, by the way. Yeah. And remember, remember that one guy who spent two thousand dollars on Adventure Quest World? What a fucking loser, ah. Jesus. Yeah. That was, that was the saddest who, who shit I've seen in my life. <laughs> yeah, he even said he even said he wanted to please Lena. It was like the funniest thing ever. Oh my Fucking god! But if, if you think about it, most of those like scummy games, like that's how they make their money off the whales. Yeah, I mean it's fucking. You either make it for the fucking players that actually want to support you, or you see the whale. No, yeah, I know. That, that's that's like a very common thing, apparently. Like, like, like it, it, they do a predatory thing, and even if there's like two whales, that's enough. Like two or five people, they they market off those two to five people. My sister, was, <laughs> sister is saying it's not a dress up game anymore. <laughs> oh no, it'll be a dress up game. It'll be even more of a dress up game than AQW was because we'll uh, have, we'll have cosmetics. So if for the people that just want a dress up game, they'll have the cosmetic system and they can do whatever they want with that. And for the people that want a power game, they can ignore the cosmetic system and look like just a salad. You know, you can have your prom dress and your tiara and whatever on your cosmetics. Video today we're in Adventure Quest Worlds and we decided why not cut our dicks off for a video. What's going on, Ray? What's going on, Corey? That's right. We're gonna be cutting our dicks off in this video. Uh, another question of the AQW Wheel of Doom. I think we can definitely say at this point it's glorified gambling machine. ESRB and the ratings company you've used for rating your game, will AQW be considered for teens or adults now due to this? From what I remember, they are currently starting to enforce new rules and regulations due to UK, etc. updates yep. on gambling. We've been, we've been on that. Lots um, of talks. Wasn't Lots there of just talks. new ones like this week too? I was there? I uh -oh. thought there was. I thought it got overshadowed by the like, impeachment stuff. Though. Probably, <laughs> yeah. Probably. <laughs> We're gonna have lots of changes. 2020 is gonna have tons of changes. Sure we'll is. Just, we'll keep modifying and make it better. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> and one more. Now I did say I'm gonna stop after this, but I am a gambling addict, so we're gonna see if that's even real. Ah, oh, dude, what is this, bro? What is this? I might have to spend another 1k, guys. This is literally like gambling. It's so addicting, but like, ah, oh, the items are so trash. We'll see. I'm not a gambling addict. I, I might be. I'm not. We'll, we'll do one more, okay? All right. I I think we can do at least you know one more. But what about the true meaning of summer? What about the children? The children? I don't care about the children. I just care about their parents' money! No holidays, no weekends. We're just our slave labor camp of children making games non-stop. 90% uh, of AE staff is volunteers. Like, they love to hire new volunteers. And that's the key word, volunteer. They don't get paid. They get paid of incentives, which is all this, we're all these, you know, 
personal items come from. You know, these staff items, blah, 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 unlimited ACs. Haha, <laughs> look at me, I've got... I've got 300,000 ACs, am I famous now? No, you loaded it, you silly cunt, of course you're not famous. Focusing too much on AQ3D and forgot where the majority of the money comes from. Oh yeah, that was literally, so I backed on Kickstarter AQ3D. I regret it, <laughs> because I funded the monster that they had become. Um, but yeah, like I funded AQ3D on Kickstarter because I, I had some hope. I had some hope that it might be good. And then they were like, no, nah, it's going to be a mobile game. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> you had one chance. You had, you, you, had, you had a chance, man. You had a chance to do good. To break away from Flash. To build a proper game. AQ Worlds is the cash cap. Your m money goes into AQ Worlds. AQW is a massive cash cow that has milked us dry for years. Like, AKW is their, you know, their money-making machine. And uh, right now, their main source of income is AQ World. And use the cash cow that is AQW, the fairly low effort, honestly, the lo fairly low effort cash cow that is AQW, to continue being pushed while they use money flow from a larger head corporation to fund AQ3D and get new talent on the project to help push that game in a in a position where it could actually be successful. I would wager that a very large percentage, easily 50%, if not more, of Advent Arctic's Entertainment's money comes from AQ Worlds. They can at least hire one or two like professional coders that will be like, click, click, fix the game instantly, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just one of those times. Come on, you have the money, do something with it, and hire some professionals. Okay, we're gonna, we're grinding, boys. We're grinding. This is the Frost Veil we've been looking for. This is it. What a drop. Bushel, wait, I get, wait, so all I get is 25 of these measly tokens? Last 1,000 ACs. That's after this, I'm done, I'm done, dude, I'm done. Look, if they, um, if they continue down this path of charging you $40 for a pet, then it won't last very long. So, uh, let's start here. This, getting this pet costs money. This actual farming, but not very intuitive. Blaze's birthday bonfire, it's a spawnable, costs money. And it's really up there. Alright. Dragon Crystal bonus is back. Cool. Cosmetics, that costs money. Cosmetics, that costs money. Cosmetic, that costs money. Oh, Frostfeld return, but nothing new. Nothing, none, nothing new. Alright, Darkon. Cosmetic, that costs money. Uh, new PvP map on the PTR. Okay. Frostvane. Okay, the cosmetics that don't cost money. That's, that's cool. Right? That's cool. The product is worthless in its current state. Now that's good. Just get that right in there. Just soak that right up. Now you can basically see that this is a 100% improved product. Thank you, Flex Seal. <gasps> they're multiplying. Why, they're on every corner. Block after block. They're everywhere. We've got to do something about this that those weapons have and only those weapons but it's just another thing that kind of breaks the game to a degree and I think that the divide between pay to win and free to play players is even bigger now um, like Varium weapons having higher stats and being able to afford enhancements a lot faster with Varium instead of credits yes that was quite an advantage but I think having a core like um, like, 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 like this one, like Captain's Charge or whatever it's called. This is an incredibly powerful core. That's insanely powerful. It will completely, it almost guarantees to win every time if, if another player doesn't have a hard counter to it, which they rarely ever do. And please, Night Wraith, nerf this gosh darn infernal fantasy gear. It does not belong in this game, especially that core. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna come back to Epic Duel unless some crazy Epic Duel 2 rework happens. Uh, Epic Duel.
they really messed up, man. They really messed up. Uh, alpha, beta, gamma, even delta, you know, a lot of the phases were good. And, and a lot of the changes were good, but the, I, I forget which phase it was, but they, I think it might have been the Omega or Delta one, but they changed it so that items no longer have unique stats. Essentially making it so that all items are exactly the same, simply cosmetic, you just change the stats. Uh, old items had effects that were essentially considered pay to win. If all the items have the same stats, why would I buy new items other than aesthetic? It, the game was ruined. Like, you literally had such unique builds and you'd have to grind for very specific items to get the very specific stats, but then you took that away. You took away the soul and the essence of the game. The competitive aspect. Yes, Mercenary was broken in 2v2. Yes, there were moments where Tech Mage and Bounty Hunter would, would flip-flop between who's the best in 1v1. But come on, just balance your game. Don't balance your items. Like, that was so much fun to have, like, these unique items with unique stats. And they, t they, that ruined it for me, and I think it ruined it for a lot of people. I started off with this video talking about how little content there's been. And they're just, they just are asking, buy DCs, buy DCs, buy DCs, buy DCs, buy DCs, buy DCs. And then we go, buy DCs. Bro, these are a thousand. A thousand. Bushel of bushes. I only got 25. I need a thousand? There's 500 DCs for 25 bushels? Dude, what? I do something very, very stupid. And I drop, I drop fifty dollars on some DZs, and decided let's buy twenty three one K chesses because no, I thought that was a good idea, right? Uh, the Wheel of Doom got nerfed, so if you land on a potion, you used to get six, uh, the one for the spin, and then the five additional. Now you only get two you get one for landing on the potion and you get one for your spin so that's a huge nerf uh it makes the price of the item of donating awesomeness go way up uh it went from I, I think it was a few hundred dollars to like a lot closer to like six hundred dollars or something like that ah uh, okay we could we could do one more all right maybe one more boys like this is so no oh. so expensive. One, one more. Oh no. Five. Fucking yes! Oh man, I can't wait to throw more fucking shekel at this game. Okay. Shout out to all the people saying I suck dick for weapons. Very not true. I've never asked for a custom weapon in my life. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Certain items or equipment can only be used by members and trying to equip it will show you this, the upgrade screen, and the game has no problem just showering new or free players with members items to irritate them into upgrading. If you do want to upgrade, it's $58 for the year or $20 for three months. I mean, it's cheaper than most MMOs, but it's not exactly nothing. Uh, pets are just cosmetic. Just like most things in the game, it's Fashion Quest 3D for a reason. Though if they're gonna make it Fashion Quest 3D, at least go all out on the Fashion Quest 3D. Like, give us multiple races. My first point is that it is hella expensive. Okay? Very. Um, but still, 1,000 one uh, Dragon Crystals, even for a Guardian, I mean, it's, it's steep. That's it, cool. It costs quite a bit, but yeah, yes, you could craft it. It wasn't until the gimmick that they started. They released one rare item, the dumbest thing you could possibly think of, and it sold <laughs> so many gimmicks because people wanted it. Listen, that is my second, uh, that is my second qualm with this event. That's my second issue, right? There is no potato, and it might sound dumb. But the potato was the entire reason that you wanted to purchase the April Fool's chest, right? I, 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 everybody that I know that has spawned April Fool's chests have all 
been doing it for the potato. Like, oh wow, they're just really milking their players for money. And for three fire starters, like if you took a wild guess, well, what are the odds they get any of the rare items from those three fire starters? Uh, zero. Yep. Like, uh, I've, <laughs> I've killed over 300 of them. Oh, actually, I think it's actually up to maybe like 400, so, uh, 400 plus, right? And I haven't gotten any of the rare drops other than um, the dragon travel form, the cinder travel form, and the um, the, the, the dragon pet. Right? Yeah, I managed I to get I haven't really even lucky. gotten a hot streak. I haven't gotten a hot streak. Dude, I've only gotten two, and I want to say I've killed probably double the amount you have. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it's, I mean, even even for us who receive the the um the 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 fire starters are from a right um that only goes so far I and mean, they they are very very expensive because i think i spawned um a little more than i should have but i spawned maybe about 30 uh extra when i i did it yeah and that's that's a lot yeah with the i did the math on this and with the current bonus the ten dollar bundle it's about three dollars per summon and honestly you're just kind of wasting money after a certain point and i did not get any of the rare drops for my own drops so theoretically i wasted you know 50 50 60 dollars roughly <laughs> i like this better than all the crafting all the boss battles like this is is where it's at like this is i arctic take notes you know, they, they didn't feel that this was as grand as our, our previous collections. So let's, let's face it, we really go all out on these collections. Like, mm -hmm. if you kind of look back historically, like, we're bonkers. You know, there are some 10k boxes that they just crammed whatever they could, whatever scraps they could, and they put it in and they sold it for 10k. And people will still buy it, <clears throat> me, uh, around this time, between September to December. There was a 10k chest for Talk Like a Pirate Day, then one for uh, Halloween, then one for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and then one for Christmas. Uh, 10,000 ACs a pop for all of them. And I think there was actually one for the birthday too. So, which is all in the span between September and December. So, yeah. I guess I'm gonna have like 300 different recolors in my bank this year. <laughs> Oh no, yeah. I I mean the re the recolor situation is. I mean, definitely that would be the best option. But I underst I kind of understand why as well. Like one, obviously they want money, and you know, ten thousand yeah, AC is, is money. But uh, there's the other. There's another point of view that's like, I, I'm telling myself now that I'm not going to get the 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 recolors because that's just mm. an ridic a ridiculous amount of ACs. Yeah, but it's got a rare pet and a rare, 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 it's all rare. Rare cards up here, and you see see the goblin going with his clock, tick tock. I'll take it away from you, I'll take it away from you. Uh, they, they are scarce, they go away. This is a brilliant way to, to uh, get more, people to, to spend more. You know, fear of missing out? Well, it's also the existence of rares. I understand why many players care about having a rare item, but it's kind of dumb to be happy that others cannot also enjoy having your item. When something has a rare tag, players are 7.8 times more likely to buy the item. Like just adding artificial rarity and inflating value to an item so that people are willing to spend more money on it is not a good thing. Like it's money hungry and it's greedy. Because they get a lot of, you know, serotonin and dopamine every single time they get a rare and, you know, the collecting aspect of Akerwood, like of the whole system of rares. Because, you know, if you, do, if you drop Akerwood for a month, you miss a month worth of items, which you are never able to get again. I, I care about rare items. I hate that I missed a Missile Angel. I hate that I missed Blade Masters, all of them. I hate that I've missed... And the fact that they're rare screws over people and are like unnecessarily, like artificially, like it doesn't need to be that way. A common misconception is that this is the fault of the players as they chose to obsess over rare items, naval, and set making. 
But in reality, it's because there's nothing else to do. Every week we're guaranteed new items and sets, but it's rarer than ever to have a new class out. Well, it's a shame that it's all ACs to be honest, I understand that they need to make money and all, but... I this is no accident, like A and U what they were doing when they started pumping out dozens of new items every week and 10k AC chests every month. Making new items was by far the most profitable direction for AE, as it cost them almost nothing to make and they can sell it for a bunch of ACs. When I say it costs them nothing to make, it's because some of the artists are not paid at all. They're literally paid with the ACs, I'm not even kidding. Aw oh, man, the amount of dopamine released when you drop a 10k on a chest, oof. <laughs> yeah. Fit. When they started realizing that they could sell weapon and uh, skin recolors and reskins for more money and less effort than armors and releases, classes and releases, things changed, and you saw that change. Like here, the rares are an issue. It's not an issue if you have an in-game economy. If you have a trade system, that's fine. Rares are not a problem then. They do, but sooner or later you find out those items are rare, or you have to pay for adventure coins. And that's not something that attracts new players. If this is the dress-up game, and if there's a progression system behind it, then players won't really care about the dress-up as much. But because AQ World doesn't have a progression system, all new players care about is to look good. And they soon find out you have to pay ACs and you have to pay all that. To look good. As you said, A is not doing this for uh, being a cash grab for trying that, but they have a lot of passion put into all of these releases. It's just not fun looking at them bringing back rare items that not a lot of people have, and all it does is encourage people to buy the $100 pack or spin the Wheel of Doom. And I'm not a super big fan of pushing for those things. I get that they're there for people who want them, but Please don't try to manipulate a really cool fight into money because I that's just not cool to me. You know, I like to I'm under the impression that if the game is fun, people will spend money. If the game is not fun, then people will not spend money. And with AQ3D, I hoped that they would take the opportunity to do better, that they would do better that they would use this new platform, this new game, and this new medium to try and show what they can do as a company. And really, here's how we balance the game. Here's how we make classes. We're not limited by Flash. Here's how we. Here's what we can do. And they didn't. They went back to the same greedy ways. They had microtransactions. No reason for it. Mobile games are profitable. Yes only if people play them and there will always be whales whales are going to be a thing but whales are a very small portion of your player base that if you want to make money long term you're going to have to earn five or ten dollars from many players not just a few hundred dollars from a small selection of players that's how you survive long term because the whales will drop off. The whales will stop. And if those whales stop, you're screwed. But if you make a decent game that collects a handful of money, a little bit of money from a bunch of people, you have a more long-term solution there. You have more long-term profitability. But they just aren't willing to put in the time and effort to make a, a game that deserves your money long-term. They want that quick cash grab, and it's... It shows. It shows. That's unfortunate. I hate that they're trying to sell you gems while the game's still in beta. While the game's still in beta, they're trying to advertise on selling you gems and getting you to buy gems and making people want to pay for stuff and putting in these seasonal events. That's that's just that's just cheap, and and that's that's not okay. That's not what they need to be spending their time working on. Scar uh, AQ3D is un it's just un unfocused. The game is spending so much time and effort on seasonal events and making money and how are we going to make money, how are we going to milk this, how are we going to like do this and that, and they're spending too much time on focusing on making money and making the game big and flashy and not enough time on actually just making a proper video game. Um, they're, they're really not spend like they need to focus on making a good game first and then work on trying to, like, figure out, okay, well, how 
make a good game that people want to pay for, and then people will be willing to pay for it. But right now, they're trying to get people to pay for a game that's not worth being paid for. Uh, and that's that's the big issue. But, you know, the game's been out for five years. We finally get a leaderboard, and they just want us to... S you got, uh, Yeah, we, it's for money. Like what? So, I, uh... I... That I was actually fun. I was actually debating if we wanted to boycott like get a bunch of people and boycott the game for the next week. Uh, <sighs> that wouldn't work. No. Because it's we have no self control. I would I'd say, yeah, let's strike and then I'd log on tomorrow and play. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're doomed. Yep, it's it's over. Like they they've done it and now they're gonna do it again and again and again and again. And um I mean, what, AQW made, like, what, $80,000 in the past couple of days? An AQ3 yeah. deleted board affects how we look at the game. Yeah. yeah. Because what has happened on Twitter, I'm not sure if everybody is familiar, but the, the AQW stuff with the leaderboards there have turned into a, basically a contest of face. Uh, it's like yeah. who can who can spend the most money. Yep. But what it does is it puts these people who really like spending money on the game. Like all of us here in chat spend a lot of money on this game. And the fact that it has been received negatively by us says a lot. I mean we not we we in no way say that we spend the most on this game. And it doesn't say that we're not gonna keep spending on the game. It's just that we don't. We want to spend money on it because it's fun. We don't want to feel like, as Chaz said, as Helly said, as a wallet. The issue with this is that it feels like if the leaderboard wasn't there, I don't think this would be as big of a deal at all. The leaderboard being there just incentivizes people to. Oh, I can't even say this on. I can't even say this on either of our streams. But uh, who ha <laughs> who has the bigger hot dog? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, that's that's how we're gonna word it. Yeah. Why is the first time we get leaderboards incentive for spending money? That like the because it's not that spending money is a bad thing. It's not that other people spending money is a bad thing. The the gift thing. I don't really care how many how many gifts people drop. It's that should we not incentivize spending money? You should incentivize playing the game. I got a legendary weapon from the chest. This is it's just I, I can't even put it into words. I can't even put this into words. I just can't support this. This is not... This does not encourage giving. It does not encourage hanging out. It encourages spending money. Why didn't... Why don't we have a leaderboard for PvP? Okay, why don't we... Why don't we have a leaderboard for PvP? Ah, uh, where my PvP leaderboard at? Huh? 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 Wait, we get a PvP. <laughs> we can get a leaderboard for giving money, but we don't get a leaderboard for PvP. <sighs> Damn, this is a really awesome event. Good job, Artix. It is a it is a bit of a spenders event, but you gave everyone some free ones, which was really generous of you. So that's that's awesome. Golden gift boxes are like the gacha of Adventure Quest. You can buy one for 250 tokens or 10 for 2,000 tokens from Valencia, and they contain some of the best items in the entire game. It Maybe for a change, start listening to the players who are paying your salary, instead of the ones that don't. Or you won't have a salary for much longer. Balance items and math aren't going to feed you. It's the strong items that will make players actually want to part with their money. You have the numbers. What's the token packages that make the most money? What's the most bought golden gift box item? Is it some balanced garbage or is it the overpowered strong items? At the end of the day, this is a business and as an employee, your job is to help the company make money. 
let's be real here. It is the unbalanced OP crap in every single game out there, not just AQ, that makes the game fun. This is a fact you cannot deny. Or if you're just a mega whale and you already have all of the packages from the first two tiers, then you guys can consider getting the packages uh, in this last tier over here, okay? Am I really gonna defile this grave for money? Of course I am! <laughs> like, they're still shilling out the Nolgath name. They're still shilling out the Nolgath name. Um, Poor Milton. Poor Milton. <laughs> it's like, he shows up once a year, draws an armor, makes 50 bucks and leaves. Like, they're still profiting off the Nolgath name. They're still, like, pushing that. I don't know. It's... It's a mess. They're not a good company, but... I'm gonna come back for the 10th birthday, I'm gonna see what they're doing, I'm gonna see how they're doing. I don't think anything's gonna change. But Most players are AFK standing in Yulgar's Inn. It's technically free, but you won't get very far without a membership. And with membership costing the same as an old school RuneScape membership, it doesn't quite offer enough. There, okay, this is, this is the sun cost fallacy, trust me. And yeah. if you don't enjoy it anymore, there is no reason to play it. Yeah, obviously. I mean, oh, I yeah, think I Oh, welcome, welcome to Siege World with AQW. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with the game. Honestly, it's I'll go yeah. back at some point, just not right now. Mm. What are you guys talking about? AQW is the best game where we just AFK and Yulgar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the best yeah, game. Best well, game. Yeah, I'll you AFK the Yorker, I studied the blade! Oh my god. <laughs> you know, can I just- can I just do something up? No, shut up. Uh, AQOT is the greatest game of all time because <laughs> it is just a chat for 13 year olds with extra steps. Yeah, pretty accurate. Maybe keeping servers up costs money. But keeping a company running with so many people working in it, but never giving effort in their games, isn't enough excuse for us to call a super greedy. Alright guys, now the best farming class is Master of Moglins. At the moment, you can only obtain the Dark Variant by purchasing 12 Moglin plushies from the Hearmore website. Guys, even though this is the best farming class, it's also super expensive, being well over $100. So I personally would rather stick to the Dragon of Time or Legion Revenant for farming. We'll be buying for the shop. 500? Are you kidding me? That's totally a ripoff! Said Bayer as he bought it. Wait, what's the difference between these two? Is it just slightly different chest thing right there? Like, different colors? What's even the point of that? To make, make people waste they seize? Now that's pretty, and I can I could definitely use that. What? So they just changed the undershirt, and they expect you to pay it? an extra 1100 ACs? Oh man, this cash grabbing, oh man. It's that time of year, the time of year when AQ World just wants to have your money. There's a reason why I'm not giving them my money no more. I, like, I don't care, I'm not spending any more money. This, mon this game does not deserve my money. Artix Entertainment does not deserve my money. $60 each. Yeah, we donated $60 each so then we can get the Alpha Pirates. That's him, the Alpha yeah, Pirates. Yeah, because I yeah. really wanted Alpha Pirate in a QW, so... <laughs> oh, God. You have to... You have to use the fucking blue things for potions? Are you kidding me? That's a little fucked. No, the game that I've been on for 10 years, well, just 10 and a half years, AQW, I would rather that they put... Just a bit more effort. You get a shit ton of money from the microtransactions on AQW. You might as well help us out and just splash the cash on AQW and make it a bit more enjoyable for us, like fixing the glitches. Just keep in mind, a lot of other MMORPGs out there are doing much worse to get you to spend money. This to me is absolutely ridiculous. The very nature of such a contest is pay to win. You're essentially paying for what you want to see in the game. The fact that these non-payers are even having any say at all absolutely blows my mind. Can you imagine spending money to buy an iPhone but someone else buying a Nokia decides that your iPhone should be changed? But I just, I, it's, it's not worth it in my opinion. This is not worth it and I just do not understand how people keep falling into this trap. 
that's set up by AE. Now, I'm not saying they're villainous scum. All I'm saying is that you can expect this to happen again and again and again. And you're the people that complain. You're the people that keep complaining about what AE is doing, the direction they're heading, this and that, wah, 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 right? But at the end of the day, you're the same people that support this shit. You're the ones that are making this happen. It's up to you if this is going to be seen through now. Obviously, it will be. They're above their fucking goal by $10,000. More than $10,000. You've obviously got pledge tiers here. And the beautiful fucking thing about this is they're throwing exclusive items at you in games like AQ3D and Adventure Quest Worlds. So, I'm not saying that... <laughs> Alright. Basically, what's happening here is... They understand... Okay, they're not fucking stupid, okay? Some moron is going to support this, not for da not for dungeons and doom knights, but for the fucking exclusive items. Why? Why? I know there are people, out of the people that have pledged already, I'm willing to bet a good number of those people don't give a fuck about the game. And it's about these exclusive items. Why? Some fucking 8-bit axe. Or Damio pet in AQ World isn't fucking worth it. So, uh, some trader guy told us to take a box to the Guardian Tower. So that is what we are going to do. Uh... The f Hello? I, uh, oh. Oh. That's, that's not good, is it? <sighs> well, uh, that's that's a bit early on to be doing shit like that, isn't it, guys? Uh, people people are gonna leave as soon as they see the 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 pay to play. Um. Ooh. Ah. Items. Any attempt to nerf them will surely generate unhappiness since players who paid for said items are getting a downgrade to what they initially paid for and I personally feel this is a very scummy business practice and I hope AQ doesn't fall into this trap. So enter the exact item name and you can search or you can view the most popular. So um, yeah, wow, people have chosen the Necrotic Sword of Doom. You're an idiot if you do that, I'm just saying. <laughs> the void of Nogarth. Now it says that you have to type in 100% so I don't know if I need to put a uh, rare on the end. No, but there it is. Void of Nogarth. I don't, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the right thing. So Void of Nogarth, let's go ahead and click on that. The... Oh, I wonder, wonder if this is wrong. No, what if this is wrong? Nogarth ranks your void. No, nah, I'm, this is, this can't be wrong. So there we go. Get prize item. Congratulations, you now have Void of Nogarth. Sick. I'm really happy with that. The next I'm scared. I've, I've got a feeling I've messed this up. So what I'm going to do is uh, log back in and see if it is the right one. Because, yeah, I am bricking it a little bit. Void and no Ah, oh, no, we're fine. We're fine. Yo, check that out, boys. All right, we're fine. Let's just get... I need one rare pet Artex. Please, Artex. Just one, Artix. Come on now. Give me the gold. Give me the battle. The battle, you know. Come on. Just. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ready, ready, ready. Like, there's, there's no way that AE doesn't set out every year and be like, Okay, guys, time to make this year's calendar class. Okay, well, what can we do? Uh, I mean, we can, like, give it, like, no! Trillions of damage. Okay, yeah, fine. Like, they, they very clearly purposely make the Chrono classes broken every year. Yeah, Artix Entertainment wants to make money. They want to make money, so they make the Chrono classes purposely broken because it sells calendars. I mean, like, that's... <laughs> it's not a secret. It's cool. I mean, all he did really was change the color of the skills. <laughs> so imagine paying 15 bucks just to get recolor animations. Oh wait, that's me. 
it's a pay to win game you know they have weekly releases they release so many items but every almost 50% of the items well not even 50 like 75% are AC died and if it's free it looks like shit are they joking are they joking That's, that's, that's so, so predatory. predatory. That's, that's so, so... Oh, oh no. no. They, they, they are gonna, gonna hear, hear it from me. me. I, I, that, that, that is that not is okay. okay. That, that, that is... But, but they put they put, they put all of the all collection. The oh, what? What a ripoff! Why do I have to pay ten bucks for this? What is this madness? I don't get this. I'm not paying ten dollars for it. So you can buy with ACs or you can buy with monies. Cash grabbing. They don't. They don't even. So, for example. Farming Nolga, um, Nogath Nation House or Void the High Lord or whatever, that would be super frustrating for someone who hasn't paid any money because you wouldn't have any pets, you know, you'd just be using like Nogath Lave and... But that's not even supposed to be mentioned due to artist entertainment's greed. As far as things go, people over the years kept hating on the game and spreading hate comments on how it sucked hardly, especially after being mentioned by Fox News. The game engine, coding language, functionality and even the bugs still exist in the game ever since 2008, except the serious bugs that destroy the game, like free ACs or some stuff. There's always massive negativity no matter what you do, but the first comment I see was, did you guys intend it for it to be free? Oh, said, like those those oversights. And I was like, what does he mean by that? <laughs> and we we pitch it into the group and then we're like, oh my god! So we yank down the server. <laughs> <clears throat> and uh, one of the, I mean, th this was a, a colossal, colossal mess up. I mean, because we were doing the right thing and then like, uh, it got messed up and like, it, it's so frustrating. So, yeah. Don, if I want to cry, I just go back to reading Twitter. Valid. <laughs> <laughs> It's a it's a business model that doesn't make any sense.